is currently Wednesday the 6th of May and it is 11.54am so it's not really morning, it's early afternoon but I thought I'd start my vlog um, I haven't awake earlier <laughs> um, I got with Harry and I sorted him out Nathan's off work today um, so I'm going to attempt to sort out my clothes and Harry's clothes so this is currently my wardrobe it's horrendous honestly I've got that many clothes in there that probably don't even fit me anymore I really need to sort it out <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do today one of my jobs and then I sort out Harry's clothes as well because he's outgrown a lot of his clothes um, so they all need decluttering as well so I'll do a before and after of each so you can see um, and also most of you know I work for the body shop at home um, so I've got to do a bit of work stuff today so I've got to plan my post for tomorrow uh, for my Facebook and I've got to sort some orders out and contact a few people about orders so that's what I'll be doing but I need to ring up consultant support just because my account has been inactive and I don't know why it's been locked so I need to unlock that for some reason I don't know why it's locked but I'll get that sorted um, and yeah then I think we're going to head to Tesco um, and a bit later on just because um, Nathan works and he gets 10% off anyway for his staff discount so um, I've currently got 60% off clothing at the minute I think it's from today onwards I don't know how long it's on for so we're going to go down to Tesco and have a look at some baby clothes for Harry um, for his birthday this is one next week I cannot believe it in, in six days my little boy is going to be one that year has literally just flown by <laughs> I can't believe it, it's just so surreal but it's amazing as well. I just love his little age now because he's just learnt to walk, so he's toddling around everywhere. Um, it's just so cute just to see him grow and develop into a little boy, it's so cute. So um, It's just so surreal like I said. But if you want me to do a video about my labour experience and like my uh, pregnancy, how it was, then let me know down below in the comments and I will. Um, I don't know, a as a first time mum a lot of people will be worried about different things I know I was when I was pregnant because I was a first time mum I was worried about everything I was googling everything I was asking people who had had babies like here's the questions um, and I was just asking the midwife loads of stuff as well and honestly it helped me loads so if there's anyone out there that is a first time mum or a mum to be then I will obviously can do a video to help you so like go through my labour experience and my pregnancy experience just to kind of put your mind at rest to say it's not all that bad um, so let me know um, I've got a video coming up which will be going up Friday um, I've got to film um, and sort that out and upload that so that will be up Friday um, so I get look, 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 look forward to that um, yeah um, for Harry's birthday we've well because we can't really do much we've brought him a few toys um so we haven't brought him loads of stuff because he's already got loads of toys coming from other people so we don't want to overcrowd him with loads of toys <laughs> so we only brought him little bits um so i think for his birthday we were supposed to be going around to like my sisters for a little get together but obviously because of the whole lot of situation we can't really do anything which is a bit sad because obviously it's his first birthday it's supposed to be special but we can make it special at home i'm sure we will we'll get some balloons and um we're gonna get him poor he loves paw patrol so we're gonna get him a paw patrol cake although he can't really eat well he can eat it but <laughs> you know just to make it that little bit extra special um so yeah i'll do a before and after of my wardrobe of like what it's like through the process and you can see the whole horrendousness of that <laughs> Everybody, this is my wardrobe. Their trousers, tops, don't know what they are. I think I've got this one in the background. I need to sort all this out today. Look how many shoes a girl's got. I don't think I need that many. So that is the before, and I'll show you after. So I've took out both of these shelves, um, I need to take them out, and what I'm going to do is this pile of clothing here, I'm going to go through it all, put stuff that don't fit me into one side, um, and into a bag, and then put the rest on these shelves. So this one, I'm going to put all of my everyday clothes that I wear every day, and then here's going to have t-shirts, vest tops, and little thin jumpers, um, and then I'll get around to doing that side. <laughs> uh, down there I've just got a box of bras, and uh, they won't fit in my underwear drawer. <laughs> And then I've got my shoes to sort out, which 
I'll tell you one thing, a girl doesn't need this many shoes, I'm sure. <laughs> but after these, it, it, will look it will look so much better once, so I promise you that. So that's what I'm going to do. They're still going to be trousers and leggings and jeans up there, but I'm going to tidy them up a bit because they just look horrendous. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Got a one-way ticket to explore the world tonight I want you back, so come with me Don't look back, I wanna show you the wonders of the universe Girl, take my hand and you will see We've got I've done one side of my wardrobe now to tackle my pyjamas And my gym stuff And then tackle the shoes and then you can see all the after of what it looks like. It looks so much better now. Ta-da! Finally, I have sorted my wardrobe out. It looks so much better. So I've got all my shoes down there. Um, some of them are like summer shoes, trainers, going out shoes and boots and then down there some other boots and some flat shoes like belly pumps. In here I've got like tops, blouses and thin jumpers that I don't really wear um, and then this one's what I wear or everyday wear. So some tops, some the other jumper and some more tops up here. I've got my leggings section, um, my jeans section there and these are like going out trousers, work trousers. Then up here I've got my pyjamas, so these are like set pyjamas, not set pyjamas, these are like miscellaneous bits, so these are just um, on their own top, then at the back is shorts and trousers which are on their own, so they're not really a set, and then this is all my set pyjamas, so they're all like my shorts and summer pyjamas and they're like my winter ones, and then down here I've got my gym stuff at the back, on top of my jogging bottoms, and then I've got all my vest tops there. And obviously down there, I've got some more ballet pumps at the side and then my bra box. And that is everything in my wardrobe. So it went from looking a complete mess to looking a lot more better. And I've only got one bag of stuff that I had to get rid of. So, yeah, I just feel so much better now it's done. So that's the one list, one job that's ticked off my list of to do. So, yeah. So I thought before I do any work and stuff, I would show you Harry's nursery, what we've been doing to it since we've moved in. So I'll just show you that now. One minute. <laughs> so this is obviously the bit where you walk in and this door. Um, that is just Harry's present. Um, I haven't wrapped up yet. Um, it's a toot toot airport, so that's just there for a minute. Um, this is a chair we have in his room just because he struggles to go to sleep on his own at night So we just kind of sit in here for a little bit and wait for him to go to sleep and then he um, finally goes <laughs> He's got his poor patrol pillow on there, which he doesn't really use. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't Then you've got these massive wardrobe that was built in with the house um, They're really big, it's got so much space in it, look. Ignore that, I need to tidy all that up <laughs> but in here I've literally just got all of Harry's clothes and um, some suitcases a bag of old clothes and then just some baby bits up there um so I thought these wardrobes were amazing they were built in when we moved in I thought it was perfect for like you know Harry's wardrobe and stuff so there's some clothes that I brought from Asda <laughs> so you come in and then obviously it's got a window and this just overlooks um, the garage and then the garden and then like all um, the houses. So obviously in here, we've just got a bin. Don't know why there's a curtain pole, I'm not sure. <laughs> but this is um, the chest drawers. These are from Ikea, um, the little ones. And then I'll just go through and show you what's on here. So on his chest of drawers, he's got this little egg. And it tells you the temperature. Um, we got this from Mother Care, but obviously Mother Care is not sh uh, shut down now. But you can get these anywhere. They do different ones. Um, that just tells you the temperature in his room. At the minute, it's currently 24.4, which is quite warm. So I need to open the window because it's too hot for his room. Then we've got this little light, which um, you just plug in and you just turn it on. And it plays like really light uh, white noise and shines pretty lights on the ceiling. And then he's got his Paw Patrol. Um, photo. My friend actually drew this for me and painted it and it absolutely looks amazing look. He loves Paw Patrol, Harry does. 
and I couldn't get over how I paid £25 for it but honestly it's amazing like look how good that is <laughs> I will leave her um, page down below so you can check out she does loads of art she does loads of stuff she does like nurseries um, she does like living room art but yeah she drew this and painted it and I couldn't believe how amazing it is so thank you very much Hannah for doing that for us um, then I've just got a little picture frame with me on there when I was younger uh, and then my two nieces and then my sister just some baby wipes and some nappy bags a spare dummy in case you know you want them the other night and then I've just got his hairbrushes his um, baby pillow spray this is the best thing I ever brought it's just spray it on his bed and it really helps him calm down um, I used it when he was so you can use it from birth which is absolutely amazing um, and it just helps him feel like calm um, so it smells really nice as well. <laughs> I've just got his baby lotion, some more moisturiser, pseudo cream, um, some vapour rub and then a little nasal spray for when he has his cold. And then this basket, um, when I was pregnant with him I got loads of like presents in here. So I just put some cuddly toys in so he's just got a forest teddy bear, a penguin, <laughs> um, another little blue bear which I got from when I was born. And then just some lights that I haven't put up yet. So they're just in there. Um, and then obviously his wash basket and the window I showed you and on the window I've just got a picture frame of me and Peppa Pig and my two nieces you can't see it because well there you go um, yeah then over here we've got his jumper Um he doesn't really go in this anymore um, we used it, used it a lot when he was younger um, so we just thought we'd put it up here for now it's out of the way I've got a changing mat then on this shelf which is from Ikea I believe um, we've stuck it on with um, command hooks and it's a surprise it stayed up so we've just got a piglet on there from when he was little like when he was first born a Peter Rabbit book and then I think this is a Peter Rabbit um, like book and little teddy bear and obviously oops <laughs> I'll get that in a minute and um, the baby monitor so we have that on there and then obviously I've just got his sleeping bag which he goes in at night time and then his a spare blanket and then this is his cot which is from, I want to say, I think it's from John Lewis. Hold on, let me see if I can get a full. So it's quite a big cot. Um, it's a really nice cot, it's quite comfortable as well. It goes into a cot bed for when they're older. So when it turns about two, three, it'll go into a bed. Um, so this just kind of comes off. And there's another bit to go with it which is in the wardrobe. Um, yes, yeah, so it turns into a cot bed which is really cute. And then in there he's just got his Peter Rabbit toy another little like comfort thing which is the same as his blanket absolutely loves his blanket which is in this material it's from Primark so and I think my sister brought it me um, when he was pro um, when he was born and he absolutely loves his blanket he will not go to sleep without it <laughs> another little teddy bear which someone brought um, another little comfort thing teddy bear and then a little uh, Harry Potter owl there so they just sit at the end of his bed and sometimes he'll play with them while um, he's waking up. <laughs> so yeah, and then obviously his dressing gown's just on the door. So it's quite a decent sized room for Harry. Um, I still need in the middle of decorating it. So I'm just going to get a few animal print photos to go above his bed here. Um, so I've seen some really nice ones on Amazon. I'm just going to put them there. Um, so yeah, we're still in the middle of decorating it as he's not long just moved into his own room. Um, so we've just got to get a few pictures or stickers I haven't decided yet whether to get animal pictures to hang above his wall or to get animal stickers. Um, I don't know yet. Um, I also need to get a rug, a little rug in here um, and a new light shade as well to match his bedding. I'm going to get Paw Patrol because he absolutely loves Paw Patrol. Um, and I think that's it. I don't think we're doing much else to the bedroom apart from just adding a few little pictures. Just making it look really nice really. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you Harry's room. Um, no, so I'll do a proper like, house tour um, in another video. Um, just before I did any work stuff. So yeah, just thought I'd uh, show you all. Oh, I'll quickly show you my little office as well. I absolutely love this room. So I'll show you. So this is quite a small room as well. So I've got my lights on the wall when I film my videos. That's like my backdrop. Um, I've got these pink Chester drawers. Which I've had for years. I don't know where I got them from. <laughs> from like, 
I don't know, I think it might be Argos, but I've had them for years. <laughs> they're all like falling apart and hit when they've got gold stickers on the front. I've had them for so long. Um, that's a picture frame. It says, love this quote, love deeply, forgive quickly, take chances, give everything and have no regrets. I absolutely love this picture. Someone got it me as a birthday present, I believe. And um, well, I just thought it looked nice there, so it's there. And I've got a little shelf, got my speaker on, little teddy bear ornament, my makeup setting spray, and another camera to film my videos on. Then obviously, I've just got this box from, I think it might be Wilco's. Not sure, I know it's from one of them shops. Um, I've got another one as well to match down there. Look, it's got all my hair stuff in. So that's that. Put rubbish on there. Need to sort that out. Um, and then this is quite a decent sized room. So I made it into like my office because obviously there's only three of us that live here, which is me, Nathan, and Harry. So we didn't really need any um, anything else. So we don't have people stay over either. So we just kind of made this into an office slash. It well can be a spare room like with a blow up bed if anyone wanted to stop over. So yeah. So down here I've just got a few hair stuff you can't see it's hidden by the curtain my mirror which is from ikea as well love this mirror i've had it for a long time um then i've got all my hair stuff in this box which matches that little one on there so just got a few bits of bobs in there need to sort that out my body shop folder some christmas stuff that i haven't sorted out yet and then i've got this really cute picture on the wall and it's of me and my family and friends um, my sister and my mum made this for me and my nieces for my 21st birthday because um, I had a 21st party and this was on the table there and I absolutely love it so I thought it can go in this room <laughs> everyone can see, I absolutely love that so thank you very much Lisa and mum and Hannah and Emily for making that it's absolutely gorgeous um, a little bin and this over here is my body shop stuff so all my <laughs> things I've got from work in the body shop um, just kind of go in there because I've got nowhere else to put them so this trolley is from Ikea, you can get a smaller one now, um, so I might get another one just to put some other bits in. Um, yeah, that's it really, quick overview of the room. So this is kind of like an office slash filming room. Um, yeah, so apart from that I just thought I'd quickly show you like a bit of a room tour um, before I got on with my wick. Um, yeah, but I will do a proper house tour eventually in one of my videos. Don't know when, but when my house is completely sorted. <laughs> so I'm at my little desk in my bedroom um, with my laptop on and my and just like other things. So this is my to-do list which I'm working my way through today. So so far I've sorted out my wardrobe, which is a big thing that I need to do, so I can tick that off. Um, I've got to schedule tomorrow's posts on my Facebook for my body shop. Um, I've got to contact customer support to sort my account out as for some reason I've been locked out of it and I don't know why. So I've got to sort that out. And I've also got to place an order, um, plan some videos, um, video ideas for you all. Um, and I've got to film a video to go up on Friday. Set, uh, sort Harry's clothes out which I'll get round to do probably either later on today or maybe tomorrow or a different day and catch up with some contacts and some clients just to see if they need anything or they want any extra help with anything like that. So that's what my afternoon consists of. The time is currently 2 o'clock. Um, I started clearing my wardrobe out at 20 to 12 I think it was. Might have been quarter to 12 and I've just finished it too so it took me an hour and well nearly two hours to sort out that. But it looks a lot better now and I feel so much better for doing it. It's still so much cleaner. I've decluttered everything. So now I'm going to get on with some work. Sorry this vlog's been a bit like boring today. I haven't really done much during today's lockdown <laughs> um, apart from sorting my wardrobe out which is a big thing that needs to be done. Um, I'll probably sort Harry's clothes out in another video. Um, don't know when. I'll have to see. Um, yeah so I'm going to leave the vlog here so thank you very much for watching and if you stayed to the end thank you again. <laughs> Comment, like and subscribe 
Um, so now I'm just going to crack on with some work and then I'm going to have my dinner and then take Harry to bath, give him a bath and put him to bed. Um, so yeah, it's not been really much done today apart from, you know, sorting stuff out. So, like I said, thank you all for watching and if you stayed this long, <laughs> um, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!